Hello, hello, hello. It's me again. This is Real Talk with the Mirror. Doing another one today. I'm on my schedule, y'all. It's Tuesday. Trying to make sure I keep on my schedule Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to be doing my Real Talk with the Mirror podcast. Talking about whatever is inspiring me. Or disinspire me. <laughs> is that a word? But today is Tuesday. And I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everybody's always doing well. And if you're not, figure out what you need to do to to do be doing well. You know. Everybody does go through a lot of the same problems. You know, I know a lot of times we think that it's just us going through this or, you know, it's, it's just happening to me. But it's happened to somebody that you know. Everything that you're going through, somebody has already went through it, literally. But... Again, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everyone is starting to do something different, change, do something. Even if you try something, try something different. Do what you really want to be doing. What inspired you as a child? (laughs) What was your dream as a child to be or to do? Go take a look at that again. But today's topic, I just thought of this this evening, y'all. I did not have a topic um, earlier today. I had spoke with one of my family. And I was like, I don't know what I'm talking about. But that just came to me. I guess I was I was actually watching a video. A YouTuber. And he is a white man that dates black women. And I have watched him before probably a year year or so ago a couple years ago probably before the pandemic and he came back up in my timeline and I've been watching him the last um, couple of days past a week or so Cohen Nanik and yes black women white men interracial dating so that's how I came up with that topic today I was like, are black women interested in dating white men? Good question. (laughs) A very good question. But that's my topic today. Are black women interested in dating white men? You know, I see a lot of black men date white women. And I'm not always sure if they're dating them because they truly like them or they're truly interested in them. And that's my point. That That's my opinion, you know, and I've listened to, I have listened to a lot of people on YouTube talk about that dynamic and interracial dating and why black men date white women and There are even some black men that date white women and say, you know, I don't like black women, but your mother is black. So I I just wish they wouldn't say those types of things or, you know, this is just who I'm dating at this time. But, you know, everybody has their opinion. You can do what you want to do. But today we're talking about black women. I'm a black woman. (laughs) Look. And I have, you know, when I was much younger, dated um, a Hispanic man for a minute, a year or two. So that was considered interracial dating or outside of my race. And he was very nice, very nice, very sweet and polite and worked. He was still in love with his baby mama, which does happen sometimes with black men, white men, white women, everybody. And I did not know that at first, but for the time that it was good, it was very good. Very good. 
I went, he took me to meet his family, met his kids, spent a lot of time with him. And it was good while it was good. But he hung out with a lot of um his best friend was black, so it's kinda like he was a, a black Mexican. <laughs> like <laughs> So he had a lot of black in him as far as his, you know, his behavior and acting. Not not hood black, just, yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about, but very nice. Have I ever dated a white man? I kind of hung out with a, a white man uh, younger days, of course, 15, 17 years ago. And this was just someone I met at a club. And we hung out a little bit, talked a little bit. I didn't really have any, I don't particularly have any problems with white men. I'm open. I think a lot of black women should be more open. If you're not having good luck with black men and open up your horizons, open up your options, and white men, if you are attracted to black women, say so. It's okay to approach a black woman if you're interested or even just hanging out. You know, you gotta go marry a black woman. Just, <laughs> hey, how, you know, are you, make sure someone is not already in a relationship, both of you, please. Let them know what you you're really about. Are you bisexual? No, we don't. Most black women, I, I don't want that. No, you like women, yes. <laughs> Are you interested in black women? Okay, that's okay. That's a good option. <laughs> but I think white men, just like black women. You know, sometimes people say that women should approach men, but I think a man should approach me and I don't I don't know. That's just my opinion. But if you are possibly interested in a black woman, a, a good approach that I wouldn't be offended by or put off by, you know, are you in a relationship? No, I'm not. Well, maybe we could hang out sometime, go watch a movie, um, have lunch, have dinner. You know that is, it doesn't have to be serious and it's okay if a woman says no it's okay if a man says no I think we're so afraid of rejection that we're not willing to even put ourselves out there and you've already been rejected before everybody has so what, what's the difference another one hey sweep it out the door but from my experience with um, a white man, um, I did we did hang out a little bit. But he was a little bit, I don't want to say aggressive, but his, his main concern was like having sex. <laughs> oh, I'll do this. I yeah, we can do this. Can we do this? Blah, blah. I was like, calm down. He was very nice looking, um, well off smelled good all all those good things when we talked and he was intelligent but he was just a little bit too hungry and I was like "Mm -mm, no and it almost seemed like all of our business would have been out in the streets because he hung out with a lot of black men too I believe because that's where I met him at a black club and we started to talk and get to know each other but if he would have just calmed down a little bit we would have been cool, probably. But are black women interested in dating white men? I think we are. Especially these days, because there's a lot of black women bashing out here by black men. And uh, some other people, too. You know, we hate black women, angry black women, and blah, blah, blah. And like I've said before, black women are angry because they're taking care of children by themselves. They didn't have a father in the home. You know, there is discrimination in the world. 
but some black women are angry because of some of those things their lives are not perfect and then you get a black man trying to have a relationship with you or just to sleep with you or have sex with you and who wants that I don't so some black women are angry and I'm not saying angry consistently but they they have you know they got this attitude but there's a reason why black women have an attitude because if everything was going perfectly for them or pretty good 90 10 they wouldn't have these attitudes so who's to blame for that i don't know you know, figure it out but i definitely think it, it's okay for black women to start uh, broadening our horizons you know, and for me, I judge people on who they are, how they treat me, what type of people they are. And you do have to make sure that because there are a lot of liars out here, there are a lot of actors, black, white, Chinese, black and these, whatever, every, everything. You have to really get to know people these days because people lie, people have ulterior motives, agendas. Unfortunately, we can't just be good human beings. <laughs> Look, we, we, just, we can't do that. But black men date white women all the time. So why can't black women date white men? And it'd be just fine. <laughs> but that is uh, my topic for today. And that just came to me earlier. And I, I wonder how many views I'm going to get on this one. <laughs> I think it's fine. I think white white men, because I think black women, most black women, I don't know, probably quite a few want to be approached. They're not going to approach you. So stop being scared, white men. Yeah, just pretend we're a white woman. <laughs> Look. But yeah, just um, just be genuine, be authentic. If you're really, if you're curious, just date a black woman. You know, hey, would you like to go out? We can go watch a movie. We can go to the park. We can go jog. We can go run. We can go to the gym. Whatever you want, whatever you want to do. It's, and I don't think it's that big of a deal. Not these days. You know, back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, there was a, some, some, before there was a laws, you couldn't even date a, a black woman or, you know, opposite interracial dating or marriage. But today, those things are no longer laws. And yes, you're probably gonna get some flack from. I don't know, your friends, your family, your co-workers, I don't know, but is love worth it? I would say yes. <laughs> if just having a, a nice relationship, you know, someone that cares about you, someone that's there for you, you know, and um, definitely all black women are not the same. No, there are different types of black women, <laughs> like there are different types of black men and white men and white women. So choose wisely, <laughs> choose accordingly. You know, there are, you know, just because someone looks beautiful doesn't mean they have a beautiful spirit or they may not be you know a, a beautiful person as far as their attitude or behavior and that's what you want to be looking for but just because someone looks good doesn't mean they're a good person and you have to get to know people look at how they act online talk to them on the phone do you like their conversation do they communicate well are they intelligent 
I don't want someone that's ghetto and gang related and busting caps in people's ass. I don't, I don't, mm -mm, I'm good. That's for black men. I, I want someone who can speak to me intelligently. And for white men, there are there are different types of black women. And if you have watched any type of videos or YouTube, you probably can tell, hopefully. And for white men, there, there are different types of white men too. I've seen different types. I mean, just looking at people and how they talk, how they dress, what they're interested in same thing just just on different levels and different aspects and planes but just know what you want be polite go on dates <laughs> don't just think you're gonna go jump in the sack with a black woman i don't know what you do with white uh, with white women i'm not sure but white white men still be respectful and for racism, you know, that's a part of people dating different races. There's racism, you know, but I don't think everyone is racist, but we participate in a racist system. So you might be getting advantages that she can't get. So understand that she may go in a store and they're watching her because they think she's going to steal something. She may get pulled over. So just understand that we are two different people and we don't live we don't we don't live or walk in the same world at times but I think black women are interested in dating outside their race or, or dating white men I think white men need to kind of step up to the plate because black women the most of the black women that I know wouldn't just openly go out and ask a white man out to date. Now, some probably do. I mean, probably maybe after they get fed up, I don't know. <laughs> and then, of course, there that's the the rejection part where we don't want to experience that rejection. And I think we got to get over that, both of us, because we've already been rejected. Just throw it out there and follow through <laughs> follow through and sometimes if you ask um, someone on a date they may not be like ready to jump at that chance but ask again ask a couple times change the scenery say hey well let's go where you want to go what do you want to do But yeah, I'm not, uh, it's 9.30. I still have to upload it and make a little video. But that was my talk for today. It wasn't going to be long. But I definitely think that black women are interested in dating outside their race because we have been through a lot with black men. And no, not all black men are the same. And I have definitely experienced that this last year or so with a particular black man. But things didn't quite work out like they should have. But have to move on. And then, of course, I had the bad experience with the demon narcissist bisexual <laughs> look. <laughs> lord so that's that's still that's traumatic that was very traumatic but yes i do believe that you know black women would consider dating white men but i don't think a lot of white men approach them and of course if you get on these dating websites white men will approach you <laughs> but I think some a lot of those white men are just looking for sex my opinion 
I, I don't know, but, and then, yeah, some of them will openly say that's all they want. No, thank you. But interracial dating, you know, black men do it all the time. I don't see a whole lot of black women that do it. I think black women are trying to honor you know the black race or black men and they're not they're not loyal to them so date whoever you want to date as long as someone is good to you that they're they you know they care for you they truly love for you their their love is authentic and you know real I say do it Especially if you're not finding what you want in, you know, in black men. And when you don't find that, I think there is some, you know, we definitely need to work on ourselves too, black and white. If you're not healthy as a person, if you're looking, you know, for everybody else to solve your problems. If you have a lot of problems, dysfunction, trauma, you need to get that stuff fixed first. And then that may be why you're not attracting healthy people. And I don't know why I attracted a narcissist, but did I learn a lot? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. (laughs) Yeah. Just to have more boundaries, to get to know people better. To study people more. You know, once you start seeing those red flags, white, black, red, yellow, green, purple, stop. Nope. Done. Stay away. Nope. Can't do it. And and a lot of us are really too old to be playing games and getting into these. I'm not going to say fake relationships, but. You're wasting your time and it's, it's stupid. We're too old. We're too old. I'm too old to be playing games with people. And for somebody to be older than me playing games, you need your ass whooped. I don't have time for that. White, black, yellow, green, purple, green, whatever. Light green, neon green. I do not have time for that. I am too old. And I would rather be alone than to be out here playing games with people whether we're just having a friendship or whatever you're gonna be my friend be my damn friend don't be out here trying to use me and take advantage of me and all that old dumb shit i don't have time for that and you shouldn't either but yes i think black women are interested in white men but white men are gonna have to probably take that first step or that first communication because black men always take that first step with black women so they, they're they're used to that and I don't think a lot of us are that's just not in our in our character or in how we're brought up to approach men now some women will approach anybody and do whatever but I think a lot of black women are not going to do that. So white men take the first step. But that's been my talk today, everyone. Again, start doing something new. If you don't like the way your life is going, change something. Do something different. Take a risk. If you're not happy, only you can make you happy. Other people cannot make you happy. If you made a mistake, go try to correct it. It doesn't always have to be, this is how I am. This is what I do. I don't do that. Maybe you need to do something different now. Maybe you need to try something different. Yeah. (laughs) Look. (laughs) Ooh, y'all. But this has been my talk about you know are black women interested in dating white men and I think we are 
we just need a little prompting and push and I, I think we need white men to approach us but that's been my talk today everybody have a lovely tuesday night peace